Hi Gary. Hi. Can you knock us after last night? Uh, no, boys are good. Boys are good. Um, obviously a few bumps and bruises that you always get, but but no, nothing significant. So um, yeah, we're still in a good place. And your first defeat as manager here. How does that feel? How did you sleep? Um, I don't sleep well after games anyway, really, especially night games. Um, so yeah, did some did some analysis of the game. Um, but no, I feel fine. I mean, the boys produced a, a good performance again. I've looked over it, looked at the numbers, some of our best numbers, well, mostly our best numbers of the season. So far, a lot of our sort of final third entries, penalty box entries, touches in the penalty box, shots, all ranked one this first for us this season, last night. So we, we take nothing from the game, which is a big disappointment. But um, yeah, the, the, the performance was, was enough to get something. Um, we obviously still need to improve in, in areas that will always be the case, but uh, we gave ourselves a chance of getting something from the game last night. There was a feeling from the outside that perhaps there was a, a lack of maybe clinicalness in the final third. Um, do you subscribe to that? Do you agree with that? Or? Yeah, I think we could have been, we, yeah, we definitely could have been better in, in, in our moments where we arrived, because we arrived there a lot. Um, and every time we, we cut one back, it went to them or when we flashed one across the goal, we didn't get on the end of it, or if we had a shot, it got blocked, or a couple of free headers as well from set plays that were that were big chances. Um, so yeah, anyway, I mean that that can happen. Of course, we're, we're working at a, at a high level, and so, um, the, the margins at that end of the pitch is, is, is the hardest to to um, to carry out. So yeah, you can you can miss chances, and you can you can miss people with passes, and it's, it felt like one of those one of those nights. Is that a concern going forward, or is that easy to to remedy? That's de definitely not easy to remedy. I think it, um, I think it's something you always look to work on. Um, can we be clinical? So, if we manage to pin a team like Southampton back and we arrive at their penalty area that many times in 45, 50 minutes, whatever we sort of pin them back for, can we find at least one moment where we are deadly enough to make sure we score? Is is going to be big for us. Um, but I think if you look at over the seven games, we've we've scored a, a decent amount of goals for a, for a newly promoted side. Um, so I think if you just look at it in over the, the the larger scale, really, of what we've done over seven games, we've we've been a goal threat. And the silly Sue handball. I know you spoke about it last night, but why do you think it is that these decisions aren't going for you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't want that given against me if I was the Southampton manager, um, <laughs> but I've had a few given against me. Uh, Lloyd Kelly, Jefferson Lerma, of course, I, I don't see massive differences, to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's yeah, is what it is. But yeah, I don't know is the answer to the question. Is consistency the thing that you want? And, and I guess all managers want from VAR at the moment that you're not getting? Uh, yeah, I think it's all, I mean, it's hard because every decision or most decisions are going to be subjective. So there are going to be if, if you take that penalty decision last night, there's going to be maybe 80 people that think it isn't and 20 that think it is. And um, for us at the moment, it seems like uh, the guy in the guy in charge is always falling on the on the side that, that goes against us. But um, yeah, hope, hopefully things start to change. But I hope we, we we can't rely on stuff like that to to make sure we get results. We need to, we need to take care of our own business. Um, make sure we deal with the goal better. Make sure when we arrive, we produce something. Um, and then hopefully those those decisions won't won't be costing us. Do you like VAR or would you rather it wasn't there? No, oh, yeah, I like it. I think it, it gives you, gives them more chance of getting things right. Um, I do. Um, so yeah, I, I think it it yeah. That, that, I mean, and that's that's what we're all after. We're after more accurate decisions. So as long as it's used appropriately and we we we, we find a way that we we reach the right decision more often than not, I think it's good. And despite last night's defeat, you've still made an excellent start as interim boss. Have you had any conversations or any news as to whether that might become a permanent role? No, 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 we're the same. We're the same as we were. Um, take the, get the boys ready for West Ham, make sure we're ready to go again, make sure they're in a good place. Um, so that's, that's what I'll be focused on the next few days. Are you enjoying it though? Would you like to? Yeah, continue? no, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. I love managing, um, really enjoying it. So, um, the first defeat was going to come and I can't wait to show how we, how we respond. Would it help if there was more consistency? Would it help just, just settle things down in the longer term if you knew and the players knew what, what was happening? 
I'm, I'm very happy with, with how things are at the moment. I'm managing a, a club in the Premier League. Um, the boys are responding, giving me absolutely everything. Fans stuck with them all night last night, even though we were one nil down for for whatever it was, 82, 80 odd minutes. They stuck with them right till the end because they could see what they were giving. Um, and we, yeah, we we will continue to to work hard, improve, be competitive, and keep trying to put points on the board for the club. Gary, all those, I guess, in-game fluxes you were trying to deal with yesterday, trying to unlock the door, the substitutions you're making. As a coach, how much of that is what you're in it for? Is that buzz of trying to rectify situations, make your team changing in a game, all that kind of live stuff that's going on? Is that what you're in it for as a coach? Uh, no, I'm in it for, for all of it. Um, I love all of it, making sure the boys are ready mentally, physically, um, obviously tactically as well. Um, it's the first time last night that the opposition uh, came in a way that I haven't seen them do before. So it's the first time where a team has changed to play us. Um, so the start of the game, Southampton had a slight edge at that point because they, they hadn't played like that before. Um, and obviously because we're, we're quite new as a group and what we're doing, it, it, it took us a while, the, the boys a while on the pitch. to So we had to move things, we had to move things earlier. But that um, I felt it worked. I thought we we went from the start of the game where we, we did start well. I thought we were on front foot for 10 minutes or whatever it was until they score. And then tactically things needed to be moved around and we did and we, we gained massive control for, for the rest of it. And they're, they're only a threat on a counter-attack. I know some managers don't like to think about the opposition. They only set themselves up what will suit them. But had you changed thing, things from the start last night expecting as to what Southampton might do? No, we all, I always take into account what the opposition are likely to do. I think, um, yeah, that I think when you're when you're a newly promoted side and you're facing teams that that have big quality, you 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 have to um, you always have to bear them in mind. Um, obviously, if you're if you're far superior and you go to certain places, obviously Manchester City would be a a good one that they they don't really change. No matter what they do, they'll do what they do and let the other team worry about it. I think um, the, the position we're in is is different to that. West Ham, one of your former clubs, up next. Before we talk about your time there, what about what the start they've made? They're obviously a busy schedule with Europe as well this season. What have you made of their, their start to the season? Yeah, I think that their, their results have been a bit up and down, haven't they? I think um, if you look at, I think they've won four of their last six, if you include Europe. Um, and they gave Liverpool a big, a big, big scare last night. Obviously gave run them very close, real good performance. So have good players. It's going to be going to be another tough game that we're we're prepping for. Uh, tough place to go. So. Yeah, we need we need to be at a hundred percent again. Um, hopefully, improve a few bits from the other night and and go and give another another good account of ourselves. Give us your reflections on your couple of seasons there. You obviously won promotion to the Premier League, didn't you, at, at the Hammers? Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I'd uh, um, suffered a bad injury, which sort of changed uh, uh, my career for me, um, but man managed to come back from it and still play afterwards, which was. A bonus, managed to get back into the Premier League with them, as you say, with promotion. Um, so yeah, real some good people. It's a great club. Um, real fond memories of my of my time there. So yeah, um, obviously at a different stadium now, but looking forward to going back. And on that, having experienced Upton Park as a home and an away player, probably are you a little bit more pleased you're going to the London Stadium rather than Upton Park? Um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't played at the London Stadium, so I don't know what it's like. I think. Um, yeah, Up Upton Park was a was a great stadium. Um, I loved playing there. Um, but yeah, I think West Ham will be well used to where they're where they're playing now. So um, probably doesn't make too much difference for us. I think we, yeah, we need we need to be focused on the on the job in hand. Of course, you're from the sort of South London area. Right? I think Millwall was your team as a boy, wasn't it? So was there any sort of family rivalries or anything with West Ham when you were growing up? Um, no, not really. I was obviously yeah, my. My granddad was a big Millwall fan, and he used to take me down there when I was when I was a baby. So um, yeah, I grew up watching Millwall, and he was aware of the rivalry, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, after that, it was um, you tend to you grow up and you end up playing professional football, and the rivalry is is not really a thing anymore. So um, yeah, but I am I'm looking forward to going back. Last one from me, David Moyes said last night that I think that Declan Rice can play in any team in the world. Um, Give us a summation of your view of Declan Rice as a player and maybe how important he'll be for England at the World Cup. Yeah, he's a fan fantastic player, real, um, has so many strengths for a midfield player. Um, probably 
the best all round English midfielder we have. Um, I think I haven't put too much thought into that, but I would think he's right up there. Um, so yeah, his real physical qualities can get box to box, good legs, good strength, nice on the ball, intelligent. Um, so yeah, he's um, he's a good player, and if they've got a few of them, to be honest, they've got a real good squad. They added some in the summer, um, so it'll be a, it's obviously a tough test for us, but one we're looking forward to. I just ask you about Siriki Dembele and Joe Rothwell making their Premier League debuts last night. How? Despite the result, how proud a moment will that have been for them in years to come? They can tell their grandchildren they played in the Premier League. Yeah, definitely. I know that. Um, obviously, I've been on that sort of journey myself when I was playing, and that is what you aspire to do. So, um, Dems has worked hard through um, other clubs he's been at, and he's worked his socks off since he's been here. Um, Joe Ruffell's obviously had to wait a while this season because of his injury. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased for both of them. Obviously, disappointed that we couldn't round it off with a positive result for them. Um, but yeah, good for them to both get some minutes. You have been on that journey, correct, Gary? Can you remember your Premier League debut? Mm, yeah, <laughs> Leeds United, I remember. Yeah. What happened? Can you remember? Uh, we won six two. Was it six two? Six one, I think. Six one, and I Scorers. scored scored two. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. It was a long time ago, though. It was a long time. You don't forget that. You don't believe, You don't forget scoring two on your Premier League debut. Just one more about West Ham. They've only spent one out of the past 18 seasons outside of the Premier League, and that was the season where you played your part in getting them back in the Premier League. Do you think that will be remembered on Monday night? What sort of reception are you expecting when you go there? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not, not really expecting a reception. Um, they're just to, just to do business, really. So, um, yeah, no, I won't have any... Um, expectations or or even an awareness of what's just be fully focused on the lads and making sure we get out of there with something.